I've got my hands on the new Case Revolution Magnetic Filter System. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. And today you join me, I want to make a video about something that I've just received and I'm really excited now to finally get out and use them and that's these, which is the new Case Revolution Magnetic Filter System. Now, I would have had a set of case filters before. They're the Wolverine Magnetic, and I really, really like them. In fact, I made a very good video actually giving an overview in relation to them. If you haven't seen that, I'll link to that here. But now that I've received these, there's a couple of changes within that that I'm really excited about. And I wanna go through those with you actually, just to give you an idea why I'm excited and why I think these filters are going to be so good. So, similar to the previous magnetic filters I had from Case, the advantage that you have with these now is this here is magnetic. So, this is a lens cover and it connects on via magnet. But because here now what I have is the polarizing filter, that can also just clip on like this. It's so simple, so easy to use. Now, the advantage also that you have with now the newer versions here is that you've got a color coating. So this is silver here being the um, polarizer and also as well you have an ND8, an ND64 and an ND1000. So the blue color here is for the uh, ND8. Then you've got a, a golden color here which is for the ND64 and then finally color red which is for your ND1000. Now, that was something that I missed on the last version. I think it's a really, really nice improvement because when these now are slotted into my bag, which by the way, you get with the filters, uh, it's very easy then for me to be able to understand what filter I have just purely by looking into the bag. Whereas in the past, I had to take each one of them out. Now I know, okay, I'm looking for my ND1000. I can just take out, look for the red. Here it is now. And take that and then simply just snap it on to the front of the lens. Now, if you notice here as well, I've got the red, which is the ND1000. And underneath that, I have the silver, which is for the polarizer. So I can actually multiple stack. And also I can multiple stack with the case as well at the very, very end, or the lens cover, I should say, also. Really, really nice, really, really straightforward, and I think the thing I enjoyed most about the case filters is that there was very little color cast, so very little for me to do later when I wanted to connect it or reconnect it in post. But now, with these ones, much, much easier, a simple little change, but something, I think, which is vastly improved. Now, also, the size of the filters that I got are for a uh, 95 millimeter. Now, this here is my Canon 16 to 35, and that's a 77. So what I've gotten from that is a simple little adapter, which brings that from here up to 95. Now, why would I go for 95? Why didn't I go for the 77, which is what this lens is for? Well, the main reason I did it is two things. Number one, if you go for a wider filter, so at the widest that you can set your camera, which in this one with the lens is 16, I have no risk whatsoever of getting any vignetting in the frame. And secondly as well, I also have my lens here, which is my beast of a lens, which is my uh, Sigma 150 to 600. And now because that is 95, what I can do is take the exact same filters. So if I just take one of these off, I'll just take them all off and just connect this on here. It automatically snaps on to those as well. So it's perfect in relation to that. Now, something else that they've also done here, which I think is quite interesting, is on this, inside in the element, there is a little uh, adapter that you get here, which allows you to be able to connect this in here and then turn that on, meaning that it goes in line within the ring of the lens. So now I can use my lens hood. So my lens hood, can stay and go onto the front, which I couldn't do before. And now that's just straight on to the camera, no messing, doesn't make a difference. I can still pop my filters in and out of that, which I think is very, very handy. Now, also, you get a secondary adapter if you don't want to utilize that, which is the 95, that screws in, but you get a small bit of proudness. Now, for me, I like the whole idea of the inline, so it's very, very interesting, actually, to enable us to do that. Also, um, with my other lens that I have, which is my uh, 24 to 105. I have a simple adapter to go from 82 mil, which is what this is, 
up to 95 and again the exact same filters just connect on. So I think it's going to be a nice game changer for me. I really can't wait to get out and start using them because my experience with the filters before was really, really good. And now that I have the case filters again, I'm excited to see what I can get because the quality of the optics on this glass is really, really good. And now because of the color coding as well and it all sitting inside in this much smaller form factor than normal as well, it doesn't take up much space in my bag. So there is the new uh, filter system, the Case Revolution Magnetic Filter System. I can't wait to get out and uh, use them. Hope you've enjoyed my overview of them here. They're a very interesting piece of equipment. And the next time you see me now when I'm out in the field, I'll be using these filters. Thank you very much for watching as always. If it's your first time on the channel, I'd really hit, appreciate to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to watch something else from my channel, you can watch this episode right here, or you can click on the subscribe button right there. Thank you very much for watching. Schlange voll.